player, seven days to die with <laughs> Silver Blade. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, son of a ouch. You must remember to work. Uh, 88 miles power! Don't you feel foolish? <laughs> Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 15.2, and this is episode 113. Since the last episode, I went back and forth twice uh, from the Shotgun Messiah to the Working Stiff, back to the Shotgun Messiah to the Working Stiff, and sorted my stuff out, kind of pick and chose the higher value stuff, and then brought it all home. And I haven't done anything else since. Now I, I'm melting down some stuff, but I had to make some um, metal trusses for a project I'm, I'm going to be doing here for video uh, coming up. But I'm severely lacking in iron. I have an iron deficiency now. <laughs> and so we need to take care of that. Top of these off a little bit here, I guess. Um, another thing I did was I combined. I found some wheels uh, or tires along the way that were pretty good quality. Now my my bike is 600 across the board, with the exception of the padlock. But I'm in a solo play game, so the padlock is pretty much pointless. Like boobies without nipples, just pointless. <laughs> So what we're going to do today is do a metal run and hopefully get a good deal of scrap iron. So yeah, everything here, 600s across the board. Now I hadn't really noticed this before, but if you look at some, at, at like this here, you get like max steering angle, 10 degrees, steering speed, 200%. Uh, traction 1.0, drag, no drag, nothing for the seat, um, max load in volts, 36 volts, discharge time in minutes, 90 minutes, max speed 18, meters per liter, 12, start chance 99%, and nothing for the basket. And you see there's, there's a little bit of damage on some of these, but that's just because of wear and tear. Oops, didn't want to do that. Alright, so let's get the bike put together yet again. Probably shouldn't have taken it apart in the first place, right? Much better. Okay, so let's um, put this together and hightail it out of here. Going up to the poppin' pills. So I don't think I've tore out the shelves there. If I have, then I'm going to go on to another location that may have, like, shelving and metals that I could scratch out of it. Because I need iron, like, seriously. Because I want to get metal trusses in for the, um, uh, that, over that wooden overhang that's above the canyon. Meow. Freezing up a little bit here. All right, so let's make our way inside. It looks like there is some shelving in here. Diane Wabbit. Okay, before we get going, let's let's do a good old lo roto lo looting. Try to say roto rooter and roto looting at the same time, it just doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> now, at some point, I'm going to have to make a trade run 
and all these extra beakers, and I get like 12 of them, not counting what I just picked up here. Individually, they're worth a lot to the trader, so I got some trade bait. And I need to get rid of it because it's just taking up space. I need all the metal goods I can get. And I still got stuff back at the um, working stiff that I can make use of. Or that I can pick up anyway. This one here, oh, getting kind of getting a little chunky all of a sudden, and that's not good. Hopefully, that's not indicative of computer issues. That would make me very fussy. You wouldn't like me when I'm fuzzy. Fussy, I mean, <laughs> a bit fuzzy too. That's a in the old whiskers a bit. Eeny her. Getting lots of vitamins. I'm liking that. Almost completely full in the inventory there. Oh, I got that. paper, but, eh, whatever. Alright. So we'll read these. Get that science up. Science! I need to carry the money with me. Never ditch the cash. <laughs> Eat up our vitamins. Nom, 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 nom. And because I have the health nut, I can um, increase my health over 200. I think I can go up to like 220 or 230. Is, my, is what I can cap out at. Just keep munching these down. Might it'll let me. There we go, 203. Come on, just a few more. Got plenty of places to loot. Stuff to do. So, good Friday to everybody. Hope you guys are ready to enjoy your weekend. My weekdays are like my weekends, so, you know, it's no big difference to me. <laughs> Alright, so we got everything up and ya, up and ya. And more vitamins. <laughs> no complaints from me, I tell you that much. This is the first time I've actually been over... 200 health in this game. Because prior to Alpha 15, I believe, or maybe it was Alpha 14, y you really couldn't get over 200 health. You do that's what, what it was capped at. Now, I think your maximum is 250. Either way, it makes you stronger to deal with the zombie hordes. So that's it for that. Let's get up front, deposit our goods, if it doesn't freeze up on me. I'm just going to read those. Eat our 
vitamins. Yay, medicine level 10. Sweet. In fact, let's take a look at, uh... Oh, wrong button. Okay, so I got 30 points available. Almost all of my of five or of three um, stats are maxed. Most of them. The weapon accessory ones, like knife guy, decapitator, pummel pee. I haven't put any in those yet. I'm thinking that's the one I'm gonna nuke up. And once I get these type skills, the five of five, two of five. Once I get those maxed out across the whole thing, then I'll start spending my points in individual uh, skills that go up to a hundred. Otherwise, it's just a waste of points. And yeah, I think the steel smithing one I'll max out on that because I've, I've never maxed out on steel smithing until now. So now I can make mechanical parts. Oh joy. It's a big, expensive, wasteful bit of points, but it just maxes it out. And I'm at, uh, what level am I? 149, so I, I have a ways to go yet before I cap out. Okay, so what do we got here? Um, shelving. That's what we need, a nuke. So I got no metal in my inventory at the start of chopping these shells. Let's see how much metal we can get. And I love being able to hit these with one hit. It just makes it so much smoother. Till the game stutters, and then it's not so smooth anymore. more rows to go. Hey, at least we're going through it pretty damn s smoothly, right? It's better than like six wax to tear these things apart. Barely any wear on my pickaxe, so, you know, loving it. <coughs> Did I get this shelf? Yeah, okay. That's one of the things that always bothers me is wondering if I forgot something. And I usually try to plan a route that's make sure everything is picked up and, and is thorough, but sometimes I get a little scatterbrain, a little fudge brain, and just kind of slips through the cracks, you know? Okay. Is there one back there? No. Mm, same goes for down there. Okay. Okay, so 
get all those. Let me get these. I love that the uh, game developer decided to try to hide this boo-boo <laughs> with shelving. It's like, hey, we'll put shelves there. No one will see it. <laughs> it's like when a kid hides everything from his dirty room, like under his bed or in, in a closet. <laughs> he just stuffs everything in there. So that pretty much gets everything. Let's let's get these two, I guess. And we we'll just put up some wood frames. Okay, so guess how much metal or scrap metal that is is in my inventory right this second after all those shells and the back metal panels are taken out guess got a number okay here we go 2691 almost 2700 scrap iron and the place looks cleaner <laughs> all right Let's scrap those So we'll just grab all the medical shit that we can get. What do I know? I don't need it. Cat food, what the hell? Beakers, that's what I should have been grabbing in the first place. To derp. Mm, poo poo. What can I part for poo? <laughs> Actually, we can scrap these. What was I thinking, huh? <sighs> I don't know. Inventory's full. Let's go home. Yeah, just keep getting that sticky frame type situation. Alright, let's uh, reset this. And that's my indicator for when things respawn. All right, let's head home, dump this stuff off, and then we can get things set up for getting trusses put in to reinforce the uh, overhang. And we're going to still have a bit more metal scrounging to do. Probably have to go further out to do it. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> She misses me. Check it out, Peewee's growing. Just, he's a bit slow. <laughs> but we still love him. Hey, stop smoking on me. Come on, bike. Work with me here. Where is that hitbox? This is no good. 
I can't find the hitbox in the damn thing. Oh, I just went right clean through it. The hell? That's not cool, man. Okay, maybe that nerfed it enough. Nope. I can't set anything there. Come on, where's that hitbox? Doggone it, I better not lose my bike. I will be pissed. And I can't nudge it out of whatever black hole it's stuck in. Yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't be able to get stuck in... There's gotta be something I can do. Thought the frames would nudge it away from the pillar. Hmm. And it's idling, so that means it's sucking gas right now. Oh well. Well, what I'll do is just haul the stuff downstairs, get some iron smelting so I can make some iron trusses. And uh, next week's episodes, we will be working on that overhang. Might do a little bit of it. Now, now I'll put that off until next week. So I'd rather have all the resources on hand when I mess with it. That's going to drive me nuts. I mean, I'm already borderline crazy, but that is just going to drive me nuts to keep hearing that pop, 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 pop. And I think the only way I can fix it will be to log out of the game and back in. Hopefully that doesn't nuke it off the planet, you know? Because that would piss me off so much. Okay, we have hazmat panties. Try not to think of it. It's really, really hard, but I'm trying not to think of it. But every second that ticks by is pissing me off. Okay. Juicy juice. Poopity poop. Foody food. And lead. There we go. Alright, so that's cooking down. Um get little edibles here. Oh, I'm all full. Uh let's see what else. Oh, I got uh an empty slot to deal with. I think what I'll do is I'll put... Yeah, I'll just take the shovel. Screw it. Alright, so well, let's go in. Let's check on... Oh, that's right, I put it all into here. So this is almost done. I got 30 fertilizer. And this just screwed it right up. <laughs> so that's another four minutes of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> For... Hooter, of all things. Get up there. Game's acting all wonky. This ain't good. With my luck, it's probably because an update happened off uh, while I was playing or something, and it changed things, or I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about.
actually I need to go up here. <laughs> All right, so five ears of corn. Excellent. That should be plenty to get these rows going in style. Mushrooms haven't come in yet. Okay, that's point and dandy. Um, hmm, okay, I need to get the hops going, so craft those. And as for corn, I'll do twenty. Twenty of these. Uh, yeah. And as for these, we'll do twenty of these. The rest will keep for the goodness. Fertilizing. So all these have already been done here, as evidenced by the white patches. That motorbike is driving me up the wall, damn it. Hopefully these mushrooms come in so I can pick them like these right here. Boy. Why these others didn't come in at the same time is odd. No more fertilizer. Damn. So I'm pretty close to having it all. I just need probably another... I don't know, maybe 10 or so to get that all fleshed out. So far, so good. I'm going to put the, well, I'm going to put the corn in the center. Um, yeah. Ah, come on. Get up. Not possible place here. The hell you say? Maybe it's not in my best interest to put it in the center aisle. It should be possible to place there. What the hell, man? See, is it possible to place it there? Why not there? Stupid game. Making stupid choices. Against my stupid will. Actually, I know. I'm gonna make potato babies do their thing. Possible to do it there. Possible to do it there. So I don't know why. Maybe it's because I got the block next to it. I don't know. Either way, I think it's stupid. Help. 
I mean, utterly scalp, Mad Mole. Doing whatever change it was that did that. <laughs> oh, I need dirt for that shite. That's why I need dirt up here. Ah. Alright, so we'll have another day for this stuff to grow in. Might as well grow these. So, mental note. Do not put corn into the center row or shit will not grow. See, that'll grow there. And what the hell, man? What the hell indeed? Alright, well, that's enough for me. It's nighttime, anywho. Um, so we got all our seeds up here. Now, what I need to do is. I need to process these. I need to get some of that dirt up here for the mushroom spores. Because I want to. Make sure I have enough to make two rows of everything in terms of seeds. So I'll have 20 seeds of each thing in there. And then every time I harvest stuff, obviously you just replace 20 seeds. So that way it stays stocked. And I have half the crop at least, for, uh, or majority of the crop, uh, for edibles. I'm really hoping that bike doesn't get foobarred. Let me do one quick check before I sign out. I, uh, yeah, I can't touch it. I can go right through it. That sucks, damn it. Hopefully it's still there, in fact. No, I better not. I'm just gonna put frames around it, log out, come back in, but nah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it for me. I will see you next week, if not on this weekend, for episodes of Seven Days to Die multiplayer with a new crew, Hal and Sharky. I hope you'll join me for that. Do check out the links in the description box below. One is my Twitter. The others are for friends of mine who deserve your eyeballs more than I do. Let them know that I sent you and that you like their content. Because trust me, I'm pretty sure you'll like their content. Uh, some of them are well established. Some are rather new and all of them deserve your support. So do check them out. Tell them I sent you. And until next time, see you later. Twitch. Twitch. Man, I hope my bite don't disappear. Fingers crossed. Gonna find out.